Welcome back to another episode of MLB The Show 24's Franchise Mode featuring the Charlotte Racers. Now, things are getting pretty spicy for our team. I've been playing a lot of this sort of offline, and we are now at 62 and 66. We've won 10 games in a row. Not all of these have been played. Some of these have been simmed. But 10 games in a row is no joke. You might be saying, well, you're 15 games back here in division, so it doesn't matter. Just wait. Now, in the American League wild card, we are not 1, 2, or 3, which is fine. But we are four games back right now. We're going to be playing some, simming some, seeing how it goes. The good news is we will have more wins than we did last season. We had 64 wins last year. We're two games back from that. We have a chance to be above 500. Even if we don't make the playoffs, this is a W of a season because we got so much better. There's some things we got to do with some trades we got to make, but I like the progress we made. And we also have a lot of contract extensions to try to work through here. Uh, do we contract extend everybody? I don't know. Some of these guys are going to be, you know, part of our... Uh, I don't know what they're going to be up for. But some of these guys, we basically have to go ahead and extend. Um, if you look at, like... This guy is up for a renewal. Uh, I think if we don't extend some of these guys, we run the risk of them going into free agency, like what happened last year. So we're going to work through all these, but just know that these guys will be extended, and then I'll cover all their contracts here in a second. Now, we went ahead and re-signed some of our most important pieces here. Drew Jones with a two-year deal, Kyle Harrison to a four-year deal, Riley Green to a three-year, Zach Geloff to a four-year, Kelnick to a four-year, Royce Lewis to a three-year, and Bobby Miller had the biggest contract of five-year, almost $30 million deal. None of these deals are like crazy or like, you know, mind breaking or whatever. But we just realized we have about two hundred twenty four thousand dollars left. And there's a lot of guys left that we potentially could be re-signing a long term contract. So we don't have the ability to do so. The all season is going to be rough. We got to win some games. So the situation we find ourselves in currently is that these are the guys that we have not technically extended from a contract perspective. Singer, Bello, Soderstrom, Noda, Miller, Wilson, um, Schumann, Muller. Like most of these guys, I think we're going to be fine. But like some guys like Jacob Wilson, uh, he's up for renewal. So we'll have to figure that part out. But if we keep winning games, we'll be fine. Mason Miller uh, up for renewal, which I means I think it means that we would lose them. Arbitration for Noda. Uh, Soderstrom up for renewal. Bello is arbitration, so he'd be fine. And then Singer is up for arbitration as well before he goes to free agency. Singer will probably get traded because we kind of looked at what he wanted. He wants five years, $67.5 million. And no disrespect to him. But he's had one winning season in the entirety of his career. Obviously, he's not winning right now. So I think Singer probably is a guy that we move and get tra and we trade. I think Bregman's a guy that we look to get traded as well. Let me show you why we're going to probably trade Alex Bregman. So kind of looking at our depth chart here, Bregman is a 90 overall right now. Our best player pretty much by far. But if you look at the depth chart feature and go to 2026, he drops six overall points to an 84. The following year, another point to an 83 another point there he is pretty much on the decline this game is telling me that he's not going to get better than what he is right now and he costs us the most at like 12 and a half million we don't have a ton of a salary area to play with so Bregman is probably the odd man out along with Brady Singer we try to bring in some of our younger talent this might be that next season we're going to end up seeing uh a guy like Kumar Rocker in there in our actual rotation we have to figure out something because this just ain't it so Singer Bregman both probably going in the offseason all right, our squad is currently rocking like an 11 game win streak. Uh, every single game matters at this point of the season. If we want to make the postseason, we have got to win way more than what we lose. And here we go with Bregman trying to keep things going here. And it's a bad pop out, but we still have a guy on first, so not the end of the world. All right, Morel, 0 for 5 in the series. He's got to walk so far, 0 for 2 in the actual game. But again, we got a speedster on first base somewhat. Good first pitch. Ooh, all right, 0 2. Ah, uh, needed that one. Definitely going to send that man on a stolen base opportunity. Strikeout, and we got thrown out. Unbelievable. That's not how you want to end the eighth inning. All right, here in the ninth inning, we just cannot give up any runs. We got to go into the bottom of the ninth, and we got to be ready. Great first pitch by Medina. Wee! I see you, Medina. All right, got to run a slider in on the hands here. No dice. Just missed. All right, back-to-back -back balls. We got to lock in here. Whew. This man will swing. Try to just force a ground ball here. Hey, we got it. Exactly what we needed. Gellar's going to easily get him out. We got one down. But we still need, again, runs in the bottom of the ninth. Jake Cronenworth off now. They're DH. Oh, we butchered our accuracy here. And we hung that fastball. Riley Green's got it. All right, two down, two down. All right, Homer bushes up, one for three. Bad stance is kind of sick, I can't lie. 
great first pitch fastball. They're definitely giving him an opportunity to see what he does in that first pitch because he struggled some of those first pitch strikes, but no, the curve. It's been so good. No shot. He goes yard. Man, I can't believe he did that. We were doing so good with Medina. We had a nice little inning going. And I just knew that dude's batting stance was like demon time. We could just tell something crazy was about to happen, and it definitely did. All right, we got to try to get Kim out here. Oh, he swung at a bad ball. Thank God somebody swings at one. And there we go. Finally out of the inning. Now we need two runs to keep the game going. All right, Andres Minos is coming in. 42 of 45 save opportunities. This is uh, not going to be easy. But we do have Riley Green, who's due for a hit. Let's see what he does. Oh, not enough pop on that. God, Lee. <sighs> Thought we had something. All right, Kelnick's up single in a run. He's been captain stupendous for us. Can he do something here? Late on that. I don't want to talk about it. We're tied with the Rangers right now for third in our division. But again, doesn't matter. We're trying to get in the wild card, but we have to beat. The Rangers, if we're going to, and oh my god, what a pitch. All right, so it's all up to James Wood. Uh, righty versus a lefty in Wood. Let's see what he can ultimately do here. I'll take that. Why am I swinging? Oh my god, the movement. Uh, everything hurts. All right, the 11 game win streak is officially done. Now it's. Can we get another win streak going? Picking up in a new game against the Yankees. Down a little bit here. Down a singular run. We got runners on first and third. See what Bregman can do. That's a good strike, but we don't want to swing at that one. Oh, so close. This is not where we want to be. An 0-2 count. This feels all too familiar for us right now. Bregman, are you kidding me? It's about time. Look at the flick of the wrist. Out of here. What a play by Alex Bregman, man. That just got us a two-run lead against the Yankees. That's huge. Royce Lewis, man, what can you do? 0 for 3? Might be 0 for 4. Oh, just underneath of that one. Still, we got two run or we got three runs in this inning to go ahead and give us a two run lead. I'm here for that. Let's see if we can lock it up with the pitching. All right, Jonathan Indy is now on the Yankees. Thought he was on the Reds. I guess he just had a little bit of movement here, but we don't care. He's the enemy right now. We'll take that strike. Ooh, no dice. Oh my God, the movement on that slider. Four seamer just trying to force him into a ground ball if he doesn't make contact. Okay, well, I didn't mean it for us to throw it into the ground. Back with the slider. Oh, we just missed. All right, well, we forced ourselves into a full count, which I feel like happens 97% of the time. We get two strikes on the guy. Luckily, it's going to be an out here, out here in left field. We will take that. All right, Aaron Judge is a guy that I'm glad nobody's on base because if he does hit a home run, at least it's just a solo shot. Jesus Christ. I called it. <laughs> at least it's only a solo shot. And now we have to face Sean Carlos Stan, who could very well tie this game up. I hope he doesn't. <laughs> but I'm scared <laughs> right now. All right, we're just trying to throw away from Sean Carlos Stan. Swing! You strike out all the time. Swing. I'm not throwing him a cut. That's the same place I threw a cutter to Aaron Judge. And what did I get for it? Nothing. I will walk this man. I don't even know who bats after him, but I don't care. I would rather pitch to them than I would Aaron Judge. I mean, Mike Stan. I'm struggling right now. Schumann. Stan has nine speed. Thank you. Anybody else that's literally a base hit. All right. The Rizzler himself, Anthony Rizzo. Jesus Christ. Okay. Enough Riz. There we go. All right. Come on. I need a punch out right here. Let's go. Rizzo doing what he does best. All right. I need more runs because I'm scared of the Yankees. All right. Dwayne Underwood Jr. is going to come in over two record on the year. 2.12 ERA. So we got to be a little careful. He's killing it against righties, but not against lefties. We got some lefties. All right. Christopher Morrell is going to be up now. Need a little bit of a run started for the squad. Love it. Just wish we were fair and a base hit. 
<sighs> Good pitch. Bro, if we would stop falling behind 0-2 counts, it would be a much easier life. But sometimes you need a little bit of adversity in your life. Let Okay, it's not a home run. I'm crying. But we got a guy on second base to start. Let's go. Morrell. Bro, if the wind is blowing a smidge out to center field. That one's gone. Now it's Kelnick. Oh, good contact. Kelnick's got a home run already in today's game. I need more RBIs, though. You're batting above 300. Big fan. Let's keep it going. I'm crying. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Just get a base hit the next time. We're fine. All right. Soderstrom also hit a home run today. Big fan. His only hits this series have been home runs. How about we get a little little uh, CNI single or double? You know, I'm here for that, too. Or a home run. Honestly, I don't care. Whiffed. Then 223 runners in scoring position. Let's keep them moving upwards. Mm -mm. Not swinging. Not risking it. Nope. Nope. It's locked in. We got a lot of lefties up. Let's get something. It's not enough. I, it was a tease. I knew we weren't getting that. I'm crying. At least hit that to right field so I can get to third base. All right. This is the guy we want up. James Wood. This is the guy. Come on, James. Please. An RBI right here. Not swinging. I forgot he's eight foot nine and his strike zone is insane. Should not have swung. That was so inside. Could be sitting here with a 3 1 count, but I just. I'm an idiot. Oh! No! What? I did. I just. I was trying to get a lead off. Oh my god. Ugh. Look, where's that speed boost coming from? Brother, how long can we do this? He pump fake. How? I didn't even tell him to steal. I'm crying. All right, well. Everything hurts right now. The Yankees are cheating. <laughs> I hate USR. <laughs> we got to lock in now. Ooh, big fan, big fan. Same exact pitch. Little slider outside. Please? He has 15 speed. Everybody in the Yankees is slow. Thank you. All right, Olivares, who had that nice catch over there in left field earlier. Okay, what is that? I just realized that we don't have Emmanuel Classe in the game right now. I am tripping, so I'm warming him up right now. Jesus, take the wheel. Oh, love to see that. This is big here. We need to strike out. Hold. Swing. Try cutter low and away. Oh, my God. Pitcher's getting tired. I know. Classe is coming in right after this. All right, we're going to get a game-ending double play here, I believe. I believe. I believe. Class A, it's your time. Play the music. <laughs> Emmanuel Class is here. Let's go. All right, Kevin Smith. Feels like a very generic name. Ain't no way this guy's winning the game for the Yankees. Not with Class A in the mound, buddy. Mm. You know what time it is. Sit him down. I still have one out to go, though. Let me chill. All right, CJ Abrams is on the Yankees now. What? That's wild. That scares me a little bit. Kelnick, please. Kelnick, please. The Yankees lose because they suck. The winning streak is back, baby. Let's go. After beating the Yankees, we are now up here with Riley Green. Runners on first and second. They intentionally walk him. They're scared. Cowards. Cowards. They're banging the trash cans as we speak. We hate him. All right, all right. Kelnick's up. It's four for ten this series, but over three today. A base hit would score at least two and give us a nice little cushion here against Houston. I wanted to swing. I promise you. He's betting three thirty-eight with runners in scoring position. That's why we resigned him. We only have two hundred thousand dollars left to our name, but that's why we resigned him. Not swinging. You better throw me a strike. Come on now. I wanted to swing so bad. Kelnick hits a home run or grand slam here. I take my shirt off. Well, good news for all your marriages. My shirt is staying on. So and we just had to play two of the most evil teams of all time. We had to play the Yankees, and now we're playing the Houston Chiefs throws. And to make matters worse, we're facing the 
two, three, four sections of this lineup. So not a fun time. All right. So far, Joey's doing all right. Looking kind of good to me. What a pitch. Sorry, Mason's doing right. Why did I say Joey? I'm literally not locked in right now. Let me lock in. Love to see it. All right, with a little slider in on his hands. Kyle Tucker's always dangerous. That was not in on his hands. Good Lord. It was circle change away. Let's see if we get him swinging and missing. I swear they know. I'm not going to say what pitch I'm doing next time because they hear you. The game hears you. Fastball down the middle game. It'd be a shame if you swung. Okay, never mind. I missed my spot. You love to see it. Two down. Come on now. Mason Miller balling out. All right, Chaz McCormick. I think I think we got offered a trade for him at one point and we declined it. We probably should have accepted it. God bless America. All right, well, uh, I was going to put in Class A. Probably should have put in Class A, but... Uh, about now Brother, we definitely should trade it for that man. Holy. One run is not terrible, though. We can, like, <clears throat> maybe bounce back from that, potentially, allegedly. Which means they're going to bring in their closer now because they got a one-run lead. Oh, he went. You better believe it. This has got to be the punch-out pitch, I believe. I believe in a thing called love. Three strikeouts in inning. Great. Giving up a home run to Chas McCormick? Not a fan. No way. Ball went really far for a terrible contact. Good Lord. All right, Soderstrom 0 for 3 with a strikeout today. This is when it sucks to have a lineup of a bunch of lefties at the end because now you're just fighting for your life. That's a home run if the stadium were to pivot 90 degrees to the right. Oh, man, you better step into that and get hit. We need that right now. Take one for the team. Oh, that for nothing. I thought we had something nice. All right, Jacob Wilson, 0 for 3 in a strikeout today. Good news is he's a righty. If he can get on base, we got a chance. We got a chance. Ladies and gentlemen, do you hear that sound? It was trash cans banging. There's a wire somewhere. They were cheating. And we took another round. Now, it's that time of year for September call-ups. We need to bring up three people, basically, uh, onto our roster. So I think the big guys you want to definitely look at here are going to be Drew Jones. I think he's earned his opportunity to come back to the majors. Uh, I think Kumar Rocker is definitely a guy that has earned his opportunity. Like, he's doing 353, 10-8. He's bought out. I feel like he's been really good. He's improved his overall. We're going to bring him up uh, to the majors as well. And I feel like the other guy is going to be Brad Roush. Brad Roush is probably the only other guy in AAA that I feel confident enough in to bring up. So we're going to bring those three guys into the majors, and I like their chances. Also, just to tune in to see what some of our rookies are doing, uh, Freddie Munoz is still 48 overall, which is, you know, tough for him. Uh, James Ariel is up to a 59 overall, four home runs, 251 average, 48 RBIs, 18 steals, probably one of the few fast players on our team. Uh, Philip Shibuya. 62 overall now with a 378 ERA, 10 and 7 on the year as an 18 year old in double A. I'm fine with that. Robert Fitzgerald's 8 and 8. He's definitely trade based. The teams have inquired about kind of maybe getting him. And then Bob Baba Boo is really our top prospect. 338, 6 and 6 on the year, 98 strikeouts. Walking a little bit too many for my, uh, my liking, but Bob has been labeled our top prospect pretty much the entire time. Picking up here in the bottom of the 10th. We're in mid September now. Soldiers from 1 for 4. Drew Jones, son of legendary Andrew Jones on second base. But he's got a uh, big opportunity here with Soderstrom trying to get the RBI to win this game on a walk-off. Chance is dealing right now. Oh my God, Soderstrom just won it. Soderstrom just won it. Are you kidding me? The Racers are going to win. Why is Riley Green there when it was Drew Jones on second base? We'll never know, but what an absolute hit by Soderstrom to come through in the clutch and keep the Racers playoff dreams alive. We are not exactly in a good situation, but we'll see how the season finishes here shortly. Now, we didn't make the postseason this year, unfortunately, but 79 and 83. We didn't finish above 500, which is one of my GM goals. I'm a little nervous about that, but this is a magnificent turnaround we're 15 games above what we were last year we are in a salary cap dilemma where we got to figure some things out but 
this is still a very good spot for this team to be in. We made progress. We improved. We found out where a lot of guys can fit. We had a really good draft this year. I am proud of how the team did. And from an award standpoint, Alex Bregman, bases on balls. He was a league leader. I don't want to say we won a championship, but that's kind of our championship right there. Uh, your leaders across the board, let's look at those really quick. Mike Trout leads the league with a 332 batting average. Uh, Pena has a league in hits with 198. Uh, your doubles will be Mike Trout with 53, which is kind of wild. Garrett Hampson, <clears throat> former Charlotte racer, uh, with 49 doubles over there. Uh, Nico Horner has 14 triples. Home runs is Jordan Alvarez. We gave up a couple of those to him, if we're being honest right there. But look at Christopher Morel. Seventh on the list. Again, a guy we want to be here for a long time. Uh, RBI's Alvarez is there. Morrell has 104. That is, I think, a career high for him. He has 104 RBIs on the year. Definitely a career high for him. The fact that Christopher Morrell improved like he did makes me really happy. Uh, Alvarez has the most runs. Stolen bases. Nico Horner as well. We have nobody on that list. One day we will. Uh, Bregman again leads us on bases on balls. Um, and then from a win standpoint, Garrett Cole has 16. Pablo Lopez has five losses, the best in the majors right there. Bobby Miller, though, has seven, so he did pretty well, too. Bednar leads with 49 saves. Uh, ERA is John Means with a 2.23. But Bobby Miller and Matt Manning were both three and four, respectively, so I feel good about that. Uh, and then shutouts, Bieber leads the lead with five. Strikeouts, Blake Snell, former Charlotte Racer, uh, 239 on the year. Complete games, John Means has six. Uh, innings pitch, he goes for 226. I mean... I feel like we had some guys up there. Batting more, you're going to see Mike Trout with a 10.6. We have nobody uh, even remotely close on that list, unfortunately. Uh, we have Bregman, though, and Riley Green at 4.5 and 4.4. So overall, pretty good. And then from the National League, uh, Perdoma is going to lead the league with a 3.28 average. He also has uh, the most hits with 201, the only guy to hit 201 this year. Uh, from an at-bats perspective, you're going to see 673. Uh, for Lane Thomas, goes for 53 doubles. Trey Turner has 12 triples. Otani also, by the way, had 11 triples, which is kind of crazy. Bet on that one. Just kidding. He didn't bet. This is a joke. Uh, home runs is the Ozzy Albies with 44. He has the most RBIs with 124. Otani goes for 123 runs. Stolen bases is William Locke with 59. This dude's killing it. Holy. Uh, from a bases on ball standpoint, Yellis goes for 99. Harper has the best on base percentage and slugging percentage and OPS. Wins is Zach Wheeler with 20, the only guy to hit 20 this year, but Otani had 17 with his incredible year that he had too. Zach Wheeler only has four losses. Saves is Andres Munoz, who we obviously gave a save up to earlier this year. Uh, Wheeler has the best ERA for them at 2.72. Uh, Quintana only allowed 14 home runs as a starting pitcher. Shoutouts is Brandon Woodruff and a couple of guys tied at three. Uh, strikeouts, Otani goes for 234. Uh, he's just unreal. Wood and Alcantara and Wheeler uh, for complete games. Innings pitched by Zach Wheeler, 221. Uh, and we kind of go down here to pitching war, 5.7 for Zach Wheeler. Otani to 4.5. Uh, batting war, Otani also had a 6.6. .6. So, uh, I mean, that's the MVP, if you ask me. And then from an award standpoint, your MVP in the American League is Jordan Alvarez. In the National League, it is Ozzy Albies. Your Cy Young goes to Pablo Lopez of the Twins. And in the National League, goes to Zach Wheeler. I think Otani probably could have been up there, but his ERA wasn't as good. So actually, Wheeler had a really good year. I can't really hate on that. Your batting side on the American League is Mike Trout with Perdoma getting it uh, in the NL. Your reliever of the year goes to Garrett Crochet of the American League. And then the National League is going to go to Evan Phillips. Your rookie of the year goes to William Kaminsky, who no one is shocked by. This dude is, we try to trade for him a million times. We couldn't make the trade happen 18 years old already 83 overall uh 20 home runs 55 rbis 11 stolen bases uh, this dude is insane and then the national league william Locke, again the dude that we just saw 21 years of age uh from germany this was a i think a rookie this is his first season that he actually played and he had a great year too your hank aaron award is going to go to jordan alvarez and then in the national league it'll be mr bryce harper so overall we didn't really hit our gm goal of finishing the season over 500 but we were really good in my opinion we won a lot of games we did what we needed to we've hit um, a lot of our game stats that we needed we've hit a couple of these league leader things i feel like we made some really good progress but still there's a lot of work that has to be done will we be the team we want to be in year three if the salary cap situation gets figured out maybe but there's a lot to work out on that we'll figure it out soon be safe be smart tell somebody you love them catch you guys on the next one